MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred publicly announced and made an official statement just yesterday that MLB clubs and teams can expect to play 162 games in the 2021 MLB season. Here's the report. That way, don't take my word for it, but uh, go ahead and always check your sources. Always double check. Again, don't take my word for it. Do your own research. Go out on the web. Make sure that what I am saying is replicated with several sources and several reports. This is one report by USA Today's Bob Nightingale. Uh, It was published just last night, just yesterday, at 7.38 p.m. Eastern. I'm not going to read the whole report, but uh, pull out a few things. First thing, Rob Manfred informed clubs and MLB teams that they need to begin preparing for a spring training that will start on time in February. Um, If you follow MLB baseball, you know that pitchers and catchers begin reporting about mid-February around Valentine's Day time frame. Not only that, be prepared for a full 162-game season being played in 2021. Major League Baseball was hoping to delay the season by at least a month to provide more time for players and fans to receive COVID-19 vaccinations. This isn't in the report. This is what I'm getting ready to say. I would assume this may also include not only players and fans, but uh, maybe security, uh, maybe that uh, game personnel, uh, you know, stadium employees trying to somewhat give a little bit more time so those people can get vaccinated. Back to the report. So it's unknown when fans will eventually be permitted to attend games, but no team has begun selling spring training tickets. So right now you can't go on a Tickets for Less, you can't go on a uh, SeatGeek, you you can't acquire these tickets, you can't go on MLB.com and go to your team and acquire spring training tickets. Opening day is scheduled April 1. I'm going to transition over now to uh, what I have seen on social media in regards to uh, showing back proof of vaccination for fans because there was some news released, official statements by Major League Baseball in regards to that topic. MLB does not plan on mandating fans to have to show up and, and prove that they have had the COVID-19 vaccine. You're not going to have to show a card. You're not going to have to show proof of a vaccination. That is not in the plans right now. Um, Again, does not plan to mandate. Could change. I don't think it will. Could, though. Uh, Does not plan to mandate. Wait until it says will not mandate. That will be your statement that you are going to want to be looking for. If that is going to be your deal breaker for you, you're going to want to see Major League Baseball will not mandate. Right now it says MLB does not plan to mandate again subject to change so uh, MLB on Fox reporting this was on Facebook that Major League Baseball health health and safety standards will include pod seating so I don't know if you guys are familiar with that logic behind pod seating and how that would limit uh, COVID-19 exposure if you're familiar with how the NFL or if you've attended an NFL game this season and in 2020-2021 it basically means you get your ticket and when you arrive at the stadium you are to go through a certain gate a a certain admission gate so let's say your ticket is behind home plate you would go to that gate behind home plate you would then be sectioned off you would not be able to just roam the concourse go out to the outfield go out to all the amenities and the the you know the, the the kid zone out in the outfield you wouldn't be able to do that you would not be able to access those uh, sections of the ballpark you would be restricted to your seating section so you likely they'd probably have security lined up as well as tape lined up to say here's the bathrooms that you're to use in your section here is the concession area for your section as well as here's the you know team shop for your section you're to stay in these in this particular section of the stadium for the duration of the entire game tonight. And then once the game concludes, you go back to the parking lot. That's I don't know if they're planning on sectioning off, you know, where people park as well as where they sit in the stadium. Um uh sorry, excuse me. I I know that they're 
planning on doing the pod seating. I don't know if they're planning on sectioning off, you know, parking lots to designate where individuals park before they reach those admission gates. Um, anyway, and then, of course, you're required to wear a mask. And if you want to attend an MLB game, it's looking like you're going to have to wear a mask in 2021. And then, of course, you're you're going to want to um, all of those, you know, public health safety guidelines are going to be replicated with the mask wearing, the social distancing and the lines. Uh, but I'm glad that MLB is, uh, you know, stating this state and local authorities are going to have the final call. You know, they're going to have the additional restrictions or they may pull some of the restrictions all based on how your state is doing with uh, COVID-19. So right now. Uh, probably not looking good for states like, um, you know, California, Florida, uh, New York, um, you know, these much larger, uh, you know, states that have just massive cities in them. Uh, I would also say maybe not looking good for Cubs or White Sox fans in the Chicago area. I know that they've really struggled reopening public schools in the Chicago area. Um, you know, you, you need to be um, tuned in to local media to really understand the the impact of the pandemic in uh, your tri-state you know area. So uh, glad that they added that in there. Um, again, don't take my word for it. This was reported via the LA Times and then replicated obviously on the MLB on Fox Facebook page. If you really want to see my opinion, what I would recommend that you do is actually go follow me over on Instagram. At Tabor Time Gaming, I have made my, um, I guess, my reaction or my verbal statement, uh, opinion on this uh, news public on my Instagram page, which I will show you right now. Um, and do, 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 here it is. Here's the post. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe I'll provide a little bit more context as to my my uh, stance on this. But um, let me, I'll zoom in. What in the world am I doing? Boom, boom, boom. Now you can really see it. And I'm, my face is really in the way. That's probably a lot better. So um, here it is. Here's my reaction. MLB on Fox reports that Manfred is planning on a 162-game season starting on time, spring training starting on time, and the season starting April one, as we mentioned before, my reaction. I love baseball and want to see baseball return in 2021 as just as much as you do. The sounds of the wooden bat hitting the ball, smell of hot dogs and warm funnel cakes on a summer night. The sound of the fountains at Kauffman Stadium. I want 162 games of MLB baseball. I do. I really do. Maybe I'm selfish. But right now may not be the right time. It's January now. But there is no doubt that our country isn't ready for sports to return to their normal form anytime soon. Priorities are priorities. Baseball may not come until late March, early April. Don't be surprised if our country still isn't ready for you to sit in that stadium seat for a full nine innings. Public health must be put first. Otherwise, we are pushing for what we want. And that selfishness at its core. So, what do I mean by this? I first want to start out by uh, you know the public health statement. I realize that I'm making this publicly available, but I did test positive for COVID-19, so maybe I do have a bias. But um, you know, public health really does need to be put first in this situation. Baseball is baseball. The fact of the matter is, is we're facing a global health crisis and a pandemic that has ravaged the world for the last year, really, little year plus. It, it's, there's people's lives on the line. We've lost so many already worldwide, uh, just here in the United States as well. We've lost so many lives already. And um, I would really like to see management make these decisions with with the right intentions you know it, it, are we ready um and not only that once the season begins continue to reflect continue to reflect on what you're seeing from fans are fans wearing masks are they being lackadaisical with the mask what are the fans tendencies you know are, are people really sticking to their 
pod seating? You know, are these guidelines really being followed? Are they not? And, and then adjust, you know, then adjust because that's, that's all we've done for the last year. It's the failure to adjust. It's the failure to um, really even, I mean, it's the failure to recognize. It's the failure to recognize that these things impact lives. These things kill people. You know, these things at the end of the day, uh, you know, you have something spreading some others live and, and some die, you know, some simply get it and, and cannot fight it. That is kind of my gist of my statement is that I love baseball. I would love to attend a game in 2021 and I may do it, you know, with my mask on. I may do it all depending on, uh, you know, how the vaccinations go. Obviously, they're rolling out now, you know, the progression of all of it. And I think that's what I mean by it's January now, but can this decision really be made in January right now? I mean, so many people are living day to day. Uh, you know, so many operations are just surviving day to day. Uh, they're not really thinking about next week because, you know, will, will they make it to next week? Let's be honest. Um, it, it's been that difficult, especially for, you know, locally owned businesses, but not just that huge operations like this corporate international operations such as major league baseball it's january now but let's let's focus on the real let's reflect on what decisions we're making now but also with the understanding that these things can change on a dime and i think that a lot of people will resonate with that message like i just said things can change on a dime and um if it's anything that i've learned from this whole global health crisis is that your world can flip upside down with a positive COVID-19 test result. That's going to do it for the video, guys. You know, I apologize that maybe the end of the video got a little morbid, got a little, uh, you know, negative, but um, I'm, I'm glad to see that MLB baseball is pushing in a 162 game season, but it's, in my opinion, it's unrealistic to um, think that all sports can return in a totally normal form, which is not what MLB is expecting, obviously, because they're already implementing safety and health guidelines are already, you know, being implemented. I, I want to see if MLB will adapt. I want to, that's going to be the video breaker for me. If, if the MLB adapts is, you know, constantly changing how it operates. And is seeing the pitfalls if if you know things trace back with contact tracing, you know what is that level of communication going to look like um, with with health agencies and uh, will MLB take the safety and the health of its fans seriously come you know come the the regular season? But that's it. I'm done talking about it. We'll see you all in the next one. Tabor time out. Peace.